<sighs> it is so hot outside, guys. It's completely crazy. My glass don't even hold on my nose. So I apologize if at one point in the video I end up like this. Not my fault. And by the way, how many of you just went through one of the craziest heat waves they've ever experienced? Raise your hand. Here, me. It was 40 degrees in the shades, like for days. It was completely nuts. And obviously, it made me thirsty for some refreshing cocktails. And I've been drinking a lot of daiquiris. And it made me realize this is one of my favorite classic cocktails of all time. And I've said it several times on the channel, but for some reasons, I had never made a video completely dedicated to the classic daiquiri. So today, we're gonna do exactly that. We're gonna make the classic daiquiri. We're gonna talk a little bit about the history. I'm gonna give you my version of the daiquiri that I love to make when I want to go the extra mile. So if you guys are ready, let's do it. The history of the daiquiri is like many other classic cocktails, blurry. <laughs> but what we know for sure is it got its name from a man called Jenning Cox. He was an American engineer living in Cuba in the late 1800s, and he was known to throw some parties at home making gin punches. But one day, he ran out of gin. And because rum was just readily available in Cuba, he took that instead in his recipe. But he had to find a new name because it was no longer the same thing. So in honor of the harbor that was nearby, he called this the daiquiri. I find it kind of hard to believe and I'm not alone, that this man would have been the first one to mix rum, lime, and sugar together to make a cocktail. But because he's the first one with a proof of his name next to this recipe, with the name daiquiri, why not let's just all pretend together today that Jen and Cox created the daiquiri. I think we can do that today. But now, let's just talk a little bit about the rum that we're using back then. We're talking about 1898 here for the creation of the daiquiri, and apparently they were using Bacardi Carta Blanca. According to David Wanrich, cocktail historian, the pre-prohibition Bacardi resembles the modern stuff the way a goat resembles a Komodo dragon. It has four legs, one head, and one tail, and that's about it. And it's the reason why we're gonna make two different daiquiris today. For the first one, we're gonna use a modern Cuban rum, and for the second one, a blend of rums that will mimic what I understood Bacardi was tasting back then. Because according to David Wanrich, once again, it was a pot still rum, thick textured, and grassy. So for the first daiquiri today, we're gonna need Havana Club, three years, freshly squeezed lime juice, and simple syrup. If you can't get any Cuban rums, I recommend you go with Veritas, which is another great rum for daiquiris, but it's not the only one. So I went on Curiata.com and picked my five favorite rums for daiquiris. I've put them in my collection and wrote a little note on why I chose them. So go check that out. The link's gonna be in the description down below. So now we can make the cocktail and we're gonna start with two ounces or 60 ml of our rum in a cocktail shaker. One ounce or 30 ml of freshly squeezed lime juice and three quarters of an ounce or 22.5 ml of simple syrup. Now we're gonna fill the shaker with ice and give it a good and vigorous shake for 10 seconds because it is very important for a daiquiri to be ice cold. Now we can fine strain the cocktail in a chilled cocktail coupe. And I'm not a huge fan of garnishes on daiquiris. Sometimes I just go with a thin slice of lime, especially when I make one for Sephra because she likes to eat the lime afterward. But for me, I like it with no garnish. So this is how I make a classic daiquiri. Cheers. This is straight up perfection for me. I love the perfect balance between strength, sweet and sour, super refreshing. And I also really love how it allows the rum you picked to shine. It is a great cocktail to experiment with new rums. I love to say there's almost as many possibilities for daiquiris than there are rums out there. And I would be very intrigued. What was the most satisfying or the most intriguing combo you've ever tried? Let me know that in the comments down below. But now let's make the second daiquiri of the day. 
Yesterday I made a little poll on YouTube asking you if I make a daiquiri with a little influence of the mojito, what would you call it? And the winner was the daiquirito. So even though this cocktail is really like a daiquiri with a little addition in terms of garnish, today we're gonna call it, because of you, the daiquirito. We're gonna start with a blend of rum as I told you, and we're gonna need for this, I'm gonna club three years once again, then we're gonna need Ray and Nephew White Overproof Jamaican Rum and La Favorite White Agricole Rum. I like to pre-batch my rums and I think you should do the same because believe me, after doing so, you will use that for more than one cocktail. So I do six parts of the Havana Club, one part of the Ray and Nephew and one part of the La Favorite. So if you do six ounces, one ounce and one ounce, that's gonna give you four, four daiquiris with only one manipulation. I love that. So now for the ingredients, you're gonna need your blend of rum, simple syrup, freshly squeezed lime juice, and our special ingredient, mint and lime green oil. To make the oil, we're gonna start by blanching the mint. So we're gonna need one bowl of boiling water and one ice bath. We're gonna start by placing a big bunch of mint sprigs in the boiling water for 15 seconds and then you're gonna transfer that immediately in the ice bath for one minute. After a minute, you're gonna squeeze dry the mint sprigs and place them over a fine mesh turner to drain the excess of water. If you wanna speed up the process, you can also use a clean kitchen towel. So now we're gonna trim the sprigs because all we want is the mint leaves. And while doing so, you're gonna weight your leaves and for every 75 grams of them, you're gonna need 120 grams of neutral oil. Then you're gonna place that in a blender and blend it at high speed for one minute. Then you're gonna weight 15 grams of lime peel with as little pith as possible. You're gonna add that to the blender and blend it once again at high speed for five seconds. I add the lime zest afterward because I don't wanna oxidize them. The blender always generates some heat and I wanna keep the lime as fresh as possible. All you have to do left now is to fine strain that through a very fine mesh strainer. I'm using a reusable coffee filter and it works perfectly, but you can also use several layers of cheesecloth. Then place that in a cute little bottle and you're ready to make the cocktail. So first in a cocktail shaker, you're gonna pour two ounces or 60 ml of your rum blend. Three quarters of an ounce or 22.5 ml of simple syrup and one ounce or 30 ml of freshly squeezed lime juice. Now we can fill the shaker with ice and once again give it a good and vigorous shake for 10 seconds. We're gonna fine strain the cocktail in a chill cocktail coupe. And now using a pipette, we're gonna make some drops of oil over the cocktail. I usually add about one third of a pipette to keep a nice balance between flavor and prettiness. But if after a few sips of your cocktail, you feel like you already went through all the little drops of delicious green oil, don't keep the dropper too far and simply add a little more. So guys, this is how I make the daiquirito. Now let's give it a try, cheers. Oh yeah, this rum blend makes a world of a difference. We get a little bit of grassiness, funkiness, but we still get that dominant smooth Cuban rum vibe and it's delicious. For the garnish, for me, it's just a great way to add one to a cocktail I usually leave without. And it adds a little bit of grassiness and menthol flavor, but it doesn't make this a mojito. It's just a little extra step, extra layer of flavor that do not denature the cocktail and makes it a little more classy and crafty. So guys, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new one. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon. Cheers.